Hey meatheads, what's going on? Welcome back to some Call of Duty Black Ops 2 multiplayer. Um, this is Plaza. Again, I've got, uh, this was from for day one. I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure this one was from day one. So, pretty noobish gameplay here. Still trying to figure out the maps. Uh, I just have, I have... The game, I already posted one, I have this one and one other one that are all from the before I prestige, so early one, day one, day two type stuff. Still, you can see mistakes, you can see me kind of not really figuring out where to go on the maps. These gameplays aren't the most stellar, but they are, um, I try and stay moving around a lot. But what I wanted to talk about on this particular gameplay, two things, one, theater mode. And two, zombies. Let's talk about those two things in this particular commentary for you guys. I, gosh, I miss doing commentaries over gameplay. I mean, over over multiplayer gameplay. It seems like it's been years. It seems like it's really been since, oh, I don't know, Modern Warfare 2, maybe? I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not really sure, but let's talk about theater mode first real quick. Um, when I first got on here, I kind of took a peek at the theater mode, and it looked like it was really... Um, had a lot of good options and stuff, had the options to make make highlights, you know, where the theater mode would, would could cut cut up a... render you a, a highlight reel on its own, which it does a fairly good job. You can rate each clip based off of a certain amount of stars and it, whether it'll use that clip or not. And then you can go through and, and render it all up. So the first couple of days, actually the first maybe four or five days of the game, I was, I, I don't know if you could say lazy. You know, I was relying on that, hey, if I if I had a good game, something turned out good, I would I could go into theater mode and, and then record it off there. So one night, I had about six, like, really, really good games, like, you know, 40, on a, on a 6v6 kill confirmed, like, high 30s, low 40 games with maybe, you know, 10 deaths, something like that. It, you know, decent gameplay, and again, always rushing around type stuff. So, would have been fun gameplay to bring to you guys and to talk over. But when I, the first night was the night they did two, it seemed like they did two of those hot fixes, those hot patch updates. And when they did that, it screwed up my theater mode and I lost like five games that night that I couldn't go back and, and record them for you guys. And then the next night I'm like, all right, I don't want that to ever happen again. So this time, if a hot fix ever comes up where it says, you know, you once you finish a game, you you're out of the lobby. Then you get that message on your screen that says, "Hey, there's an update." You know, either update or cancel. Well, if that ever comes up again, I'll just cancel that, back out, go into theater mode and record this stuff, then update and start playing again. Well, <laughs> that's all well and good, but that that the very next night the same thing happened. Had about, I would say probably three. Solid. I had one like really good, like 45, 45 and and five, something like that. You know, just a a, a good solid gameplay. Rushing around. I I want to say it was on slums, smallish map. I like that map. I like the slums map a lot. And we'll talk about maps and stuff like that maybe in the next video. Uh, which maps that I like, which ones that you know I don't really like when they come up. I, I have a feeling that we're going to all agree on the maps, which which are cool to play and which aren't. So, you know, back to the theater mode thing, I, I lost those games again. And then at that point, I said, all right, that's it. Forget that. I can't. Unfortunately, I can't rely on um, shotgun didn't quite work for me there. <laughs> I, I can't rely on theater mode, you know, because I didn't want to to lose, you know, good games that I could I could bring to you guys and, and talk, confirmed. you know, talk about different things. So, I went back to old school method, the the non-lazy method, uh, which is recording. Now, here's the thing with me. I, I this is kind of like contradiction, a, a little bit of a contradiction to what normal gameplay commentators do. Normal gameplay commentators would record every game. Every game they play, they're recording, and if they get a game, bam, they got it recorded. And it just that to me that I don't know, it's just weird, like recording your gameplay all the time. I, 
I'm still a, a gamer, you know. I, I just like to play. And if I happen to get a good game and it was in the theater mode, I would cap it. If not, it's oh well. So, you know, it felt weird to me to go back like old school and just start hitting record every game and, and then deleting them and hit record and deleting them. For some reason, it's just weird to me. I don't know. Call me crazy, but <clears throat> I'm using... Uh, I've started using that Elgato capture card again. And the one thing about the software on it, I, I was able to find some settings that I didn't find early on, change a bunch of stuff around, and think I'm getting pretty good quality out of it now. But the, the software, what it does is it allows you to, to, as long as you have it turned on, the software, right, but you're not recording, it will record for you. And if you you know you don't have to delete you don't have to do anything and if you happen to get a, a good game that you want to post well then you just stop right there before you continue on and it's got like a timeline where you can take the bar and drag it back to the beginning of that game and then hit record and it'll record that game it's almost like in a way it's almost like its own little theater mode except it doesn't you know, capture the game and record it, then bam, you could pick it. You gotta go in there on a timeline and find the beginning of the game and record it to the end. Which makes it nice for me, so I'll just... From this point on, <laughs> I'll just have that on and let it kind of do that that re, uh, automatic recording thing. I don't have to push record every time. And, the, and you know, I'll be able to cap a game and, and not lose it like I've lost. I've already lost a, a fair amount of games. And again, playing 6v6 kill confirmed. I think anything, you know, above, you know, say 30, 35 kills in in a game where you could be fighting connection issues and stuff like that you got a lot of confirms your top top on your team or you know first second place in your team something like that nice solid game something to talk over again bringing bringing some content to you guys that i haven't brought to my channel in a long time i mean a long time so i want to talk touch on zombies i know a lot of you guys are talking saying you know me where's the zombies you're you know you're known for zombies you've that was a lot of the stuff i did before well, <clears throat> on release, you guys know, a lot of you guys, all, any true meathead knows that my, my girlfriend had surgery uh, two days, two or three days before the game came out, which it was on her ankle, so she couldn't walk around at all. She was, you know, not able to do anything. So basically that, you know, release week, I was I was taking care of her and, and taking care of, uh, of a lot of things. Um, you know, because UAV she was down. She was down for a while. And, UAV you know, I have, still have contractors in, in here uh, redoing a couple of bathrooms in the house. So there was a lot going on. I didn't have a whole lot of time. Plus, I, you know, I jumped on multiplayer and I was having some fun with it. And then that first weekend was double XP weekend. I wanted to, I wanted to prestige up a couple of times during that weekend, which I did. And... There was a lot of people posting a ton of zombies, right? And I don't know. I, I got the word from a lot of people, a lot of you guys and a lot of other people, that the zombies were a little bit of a letdown. You know, I, I did jump in there and the, the fire and the, the uh, fog and the smoke, it was eh, kind of awkward, kind of glitchy, kind of weird. So I just said, look, I, I'm not in a mad rush during the first week to get start you know spamming you guys with zombies so many people were were you know dumping out and it's normal that's normal there's nothing wrong with it they they want to be the first ones to show you you know where to find you know this or how to do that or you know and and that's important because some people can't figure that stuff out you know it's hard to find it hard to figure it out and getting those videos out early will will you know help you guys enjoy the game that much more so those videos were getting a but a ton of them were out there i was enjoying multiplayer plus i was extra busy you know helping take care of my girlfriend so that's why no zombie videos so far but there'll be there'll be zombie videos you guys i i just actually played last night um tuesday night one week after release i played transit for the first time Gun, me, Guns, and Bentley went in there just to check it out. You know, see what it is, um, what what we could do as far as to get in there, play, and, and record that and show you guys. So we were able to, uh, right away, we were able to, what did we do? We 
we found the hatch for the for the bus we put the bumper on the front of the bus we we built pack a punch turned on the power you know we did a lot of stuff in our very you know our first or second little playthrough so it's going to be a lot of fun zombies are on their way my friends fear not thanks for watching